there is a need for revival in the land. And the revival begins with the church. It is our mandate to be the example that society follows. And as we strive to be revived as a church, the world will also begin to be revived. The world will be revived because as we go forth, our example and what they see in us will cause them to change. However, my brothers and my sisters, what we do and what we say as we go out into the world must be genuine and authentic. So as we begin this new day, let us strive to be revived, yet be authentic. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this a new day that you have given us. We thank you for the tender mercies that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for loving us, even in the midst of our sinfulness. And we ask you, Father, to forgive us of our sins. And we ask you to create in us a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit within us and restoring to us the joy of your salvation. And as we go forth on today, we ask you to revive us. We ask you to refresh us. And we ask you to restore us so we can be beacons of light in this dark world. We know that this world needs a revival, and we understand that the revival starts in the church. So we ask you, Lord, to set us on fire, Lord, with your Holy Ghost, Lord, so that we could be an influence in this world. We ask you to bless us. We ask you to give us a mind to be equipped and to equip others. We ask you, Lord, to give us a heart of worship so that we walk in the obedience of you according to your will, we ask you, Lord, to bestow upon us a mindset to walk in your holiness and your righteousness as we strive to do what needs to be done and as we strive to be examples in a dying world. We ask you to bless us as we go forth. We ask you to bless the children as they go forth on today. We ask you to bless each and every laborer as they strive to do what you have called them to do. We ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are struggling. We ask you to bless those who are troubled as they strive to be better in you. Lord, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us, Lord. We ask you to go into the hospitals, Lord, and we ask you to send your healing and comforting presence in those places, Lord. We just thank you for being a good God. We thank you for being an all-sufficient Savior. We thank you for loving us even in our most unlovable state. And right now, Lord, as we go forth, give us focus. Give us determination. Give us a mindset to stay connected to you, even in difficulty, because we know that all things work together for the good of those who love you and those who are called according to your purpose. So we ask you, Lord, to simply guide us on today, comfort us on today, sustain us on today as we boldly go out into this new day. Strengthen us now, comfort and keep us as we go. And it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name we all pray. Amen. Amen and amen. My brothers and my sisters, simply strive to be authentic in the midst of this revival. God bless you.